If a picture paints a thousand words, tonight one is hanging in Stamford with quite a story to tell. This art treasure was once tossed into the trash, but now it's finally back on display after almost 50 years. CBS 2's Tony Aiello reports. Stanford is a city where there's always something new going up, usually glassy and modern, usually not always. The newest addition to the lobby of the Tully Health Center was created in 1934 and nearly destroyed in 1970. This mural by Depression Era master James Doherty now hangs about a tenth of a mile from its original home at Stanford High School, one of seven murals that dominated the old music room until a renovation in 1970. Construction workers cut the canvases up into 30 pieces and threw them into a dumpster. The art treasure came this close to being trashed. Frank Bone, who was a student at Stanford High School, found them and uh, brought them home. Bone gave the canvases to an art expert, triggering an ownership battle. Artist James Doherty has held in high regard the murals worth more than a million dollars. Some were sold to private parties. Stanford got this one and sent it to Cleveland for restoration by experts at ICA Art Conservation. Uh, they had to remove a lot of dirt and debris. The finished product shows epic figures in vivid colors. Americans helping other Americans, picking them up and bringing them out of the depression. From a trash pile to a place of pride, on display after 50 years for generations to enjoy. In Stamford, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News.